Welcome back, Romantic Home family. I am Libby with Libby's Romantic Home, and I'm back with an all new DIY for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna be making a DIY trash to treasure cottage tree. Yes, we're gonna create this beautiful cottage tree, and you're never gonna believe what I used. It was a stick that I had laying around in my yard. Now don't panic if you don't have a bunch of sticks in your yard. I also incorporated one of the little lighted trees that you can find at Hobby Lobby. So you guys can take this and make this on a smaller scale if you don't have you know, a front door that you want to do this over. You could maybe make one of these for your home. But I hope this just gives you guys some creativity and gets those creative juices flowing. Welcome if you're new, I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama and I I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel and follow me on my Love Romantic Home Facebook page. Bear with me and give me some grace on the angles. It's really hard kind of to shoot some of this stuff outside, but I hope you guys are inspired. This is the first time I've done a project like this, so I'm sure there can be some tweaks to it that might um, work a little bit better. You guys are going to have to let me know down in the comment section below. And also, I think this is going to be fun because we can decorate it seasonally. Thank you for being here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your branches, greenery, and all that kind of fun stuff. And let's get to craft. To get started on this tree project, I went ahead and added a couple little nails in and around my front door, and then I'm just going to zip tie the tree branch to the nails. Then I'm going to take one of these Hobby Lobby light up trees, which I want this to be able to kind of light up in the evening. I thought it'd be so pretty, and I zip tied that to my original big tree branch. Then I'm adding some of these little dangly greenery pieces from Hobby Lobby. These are left over from my last video where I shared with you guys those giant um, high-end kind of designer planter palm trees in my living room. Go back and watch that video if you get a chance. Um, that was a super fun project. So I'm basically just detaching each kind of palm frond from the branch and just winding it and zip tying it to the basis of this tree branch. Now, I happened to discover a big giant box of greenery pieces at the thrift store and they're kind of all like different varieties. So I'm going to add those in and around my tree. And you guys can really do this, add as much greenery as you want forever full that you would like for your tree to be. So if you want more of a sparse tree, more of a minimalistic look, you could just add a few simple tree branches. And you might also want to leave off the white Hobby Lobby branches. I started working on this and I wasn't for sure how I liked them, but I do end up covering the majority of them because I have so much greenery. So now in the center part of my little tree, I'm adding a big cluster of ivy. I love the English cottage garden look, but I don't want ivy on my home. Um, I actually even can't really grow anything in and around the front part of my home because um, my home is built kind of on bedrock or rock basically <laughs> um, we just don't have a lot of dirt the dirt that i do have is a fill dirt anyway a long story short i want this tree to look like a cottage ivy garden piece so i'm just going to continue to add in more greenery pieces i zip tied a lot of them because as i've told you guys before i get a ton of wind up here on my hill and so i wanted to make sure that none of my little greenery pieces um, go flying off and I kind of tried to add them into each branch of the Hobby Lobby tree that way it looked more realistic so once I had some of the ivy added I'm going around with some of the cheaper fake greenery around the base of the tree because you're not going to really see that as much and I did want to cover up the part where I had zip tied the Hobby Lobby light up tree to the original real tree now this would probably be look a little bit more natural if I just would have used all real tree branches but because I love the sparkle and shine of what things look like when they're lit up in the evening kind of like that Christmas tree magic I just went ahead and added in the Hobby Lobby light up tree branch Full stop. can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up 
everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid-August, and I've come out here to say. Now I'm continuing to add more greenery in and around the base of the tree branch kind of as it comes up to really make it look like it's greenery blooming. You can see by the flutter of my little apron skirt um, that we do get quite a bit of wind up on this hill and it was just a pretty lazy sunny day. Um, and you can see that my flag is constantly winding around the little flagpole. I didn't unwind it till closer to the end of the video because sometimes when I'm filming on my front porch like this, the flag will get in the way of my filming progress. I really tried to give you guys different angles so you could hopefully get an idea of what I'm doing. But basically, I'm just adding in greenery pieces, kind of piecing them into each branch of the original tree and of the Hobby Lobby tree. So there's the kind of trash to treasure fallen branch limb that I'm using. And then the Hobby Lobby, which I attach more to the top of it, um, and I'm kind of draping it over. I did get a little bit too much draping going, and at the very end, had to go back in and trim that off. Also, I will tell you, our weather right now, it was 30 degrees when I got in my car this morning to head to the gym. And then by the time I was doing this, I was like hot and it was close to 80 degrees. So we're really getting a lot of, you know, cold temperatures still at night or cooler temperatures at night, I guess you could say. But then it's warming up during the day and that's going to continue on. And we should also get quite a bit of rain this week. So I was really happy that today, Monday, was a really <laughs> sunshiny day. And there's my pretty flag blowing in the wind. And thankfully the wind was blowing away from us so you guys could still see what I'm doing. Now this part of the greenery, I was a little bit unsure of at first because this was a lot, a lot brighter, but once I started putting it in, I felt like it was a nice dimension from the darker greenery that I had. Now you can see that the wind is really getting rolling and I, I didn't realize it at the time when I was filming it, but it kind of made the camera go up and down. So anyway, what summer or home decor projects are you guys currently working on? Towards the end of this video, I'm going to share with you guys, I just had my first rose of the season and I trimmed off a couple of roses and I'm going to take some to my sister over at her apartment, hopefully to cheer her up. She also got a wheelchair dropped off at her house yesterday, so I'm going to see if she wants to get out in the sunshine and take a little stroll about. Last night, I brought over my little puppy dog, Benji Bear, to her house, and <laughs> he was really trying to get her attention, but she enjoyed having him because he's so spunky and happy. And <laughs> so anyway... Here is the finished product on my little tree. And what do you guys think about this? I am trying to do more off-center projects. You know, I really love to do like centered projects, but I feel like this tree blooming out over um, my front porch, front door, just looks really pretty in cottage gardening. Now, the next thing I need you guys' help with is what should I add to the tree? Should I make it, should I just use it, leave it plain, add some bows, add some 4th of July patriotic decor, or some roses? Let me know. Drop it in the comment section below. And here is my puppy dog, Benji Bear. He goes crazy when I'm out on the front porch working. He did get to spend the majority of the day outside, but then 
of course, I love to share with you guys Benji Bear at the end of the video because I know some people are just here for Benji Bear. Um, so he wants to say hi to all his puppy dog and kitty cat fans. He is a very spunky, sassy terrier. He has a heart of gold, but he can definitely be sassy. <laughs> he loves to play tug of war. He's a little bit of a, of a toy hog. Um, if you guys have terriers. Oh, and there's those planters that I shared with you guys in the last video. So, so if you have time and need some more summer planter inspiration, these are fake palms that I did on the inside of my house. I've been going through so much lately, kind of, you know, and just, I needed my um, living room to feel simple, calm, and also feel a little bit beach-like, like kind of like I'm at a resort with these palm trees. So I'm gonna work on my dining room, hopefully in the next video. Um, and also this week is prom week. So um, my daughter and her cousins are gonna be heading off to prom this weekend, which is super exciting. Mm -hmm. So anyway, super excited for all the pretty dresses and just all the fun of prom, getting their nails done and pictures and just hearing about all of it. So anyway, I love y'all so, so much and I'm so thankful for you. Oh, I'm gonna share with you guys also my first rose of this season, which I had no idea how out of control my rose bush in the backyard is. I can tell already it's definitely gonna have to be trimmed back because it, the, the branches on it are super long, which I thought I already trimmed it back last year. So maybe not though because of the, like look how long these branches are. <laughs> they should not be this long. So I'm gonna go in and trim those, but look at how pretty this first rose of the season is. I made a pretty bouquet for my daughter with a couple of them, and I made one for my sister. So anyway, I love y'all. Thank you so, so much for being here, and we'll talk soon. Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorated adventure. You guys know that there is no shame in my fake gardening or tree making game. So if you guys love to craft and decorate on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies, I like thrift store, Hobby Lobby, Walmart goodies, some of those inexpensive things you might even have lying around the house. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook page where I share daily crafting inspiration with you all. And I thank you all so, so much for your love and support. This is my sixth season on YouTube, so I have, I call myself a seasonal decor enthusiast. That's what I've really figured out. I love, I love all four seasons and I love just looking forward to every single season with joy um, because I just feel like that every day that God has given us, it is a blessing and a joy. Thank you all so, so much for your prayers, for um, everything that I've been going through personally with my sister um, having a really hard diagnosis and our family. And I want to say a prayer for you guys. If you guys are going through health challenges or life challenges in general. I'm just going to give your heart a big old hug. I want to hug you guys so tight and just encourage you guys to keep going. You know, we can find joy in the midst of sorrow and every day is a new day. So thank you for your kindness, your love, support, your encouragement for sharing my videos. And I'm also hosting a Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. So the last one I did was just $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. This one, I've decided to split that $100 into four $25 gift card giveaways. It's not going to be as much as a lump sum for the one winner, but we're going to have four winners this time. So you know, just hoping to kind of get you guys' creative juices going. And I've also heard some little birds telling me that fall decor is starting to hit Hobby Lobby, which it is only April right here. So, hey, I'm all about it, you guys. And you know, there's n we can never start making pumpkins too early. Um, not quite yet for me. I'm still gonna be focusing on some summer crafts, but you know, I love crafting and decorating and I'm thankful to have you guys here. This is always gonna be a place of joy and positivity and goodness. So I hope that I, my creativity and inspiration lights up your heart. I did not have any idea what I was gonna be creating for you guys today. But once I saw all of this greenery left over from my mantle garland that I did for this spring, I just knew I wanted to try you know, a blooming plant over my front door. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about it. And also, do you guys think that I should put a wreath here or should I leave this open? Now my poor little door, I've had it for years. I actually got it at a garage sale from one of my neighbors and it has so many fond memories for me. But through the storms, it's kind of starting to fall apart. As you can tell, it's a little bit wonky. There's some cracks here and there. It's definitely a cottage door. So I do like to kind of hang a little wreath there. But what would you guys do right here on the front. Now remember, I also have my little ferns down here, so I'll be interested to see what you guys
always say about that. Um, sorry, that just rearranged the camera. But anyway, I love y'all to the mid and back. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you guys very soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.